everybody and welcome back good to talk to all of you again today and today I am going to show you the current work in progress version of the British tier 10 battleship the Conqueror now of course do keep in mind the ship is work in progress which means that all of its stats and performances are still subject to change also wargaming provided the ship for testing purposes now for those of you who've watched my preview videos in the past you might be saying wait hang on a minute you normally started with a port view. What's up with this? How come you're not doing a port view? Because I don't think there's a point. Because I, I feel like this ship definitely will change. Because in our current state, there's just I just don't believe the ship is going to be released in our current state. Um, she's got way, and I repeat, way too much going for her um so i mean I'll, I'll still sort of run it down like kind of like what i do in a, in a port view but you know and i guess in a slightly little bit less detail hp wise she's got less than the other tier 10 battleships does it matter absolutely not why because the conqueror has the heal to end all heals i mean this thing basically is like a miniature heal on a battleship with a flag equipped for healing purposes, the Conqueror can heal just under 40,000 HP, 20 seconds. So who cares if your HP pool is smaller than all the other battleships? By the time you finish up using all four of your heals, I mean, you probably would have been able to tank two of yourselves worth in HP, maybe three. It, 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 pretty close to three, I think. So yeah, um... Who cares? The survivability HP part doesn't matter. I mean, the armor, right, it's maybe not perfect, but then again, you look at the armor scheme and you're like, does it have an underwater citadel? Yes. Can its belt armor bounce stuff if you angle it? Yes. Does it have a 32 millimeter belt? Yes. What's... Then she's just like all the other tier 10 battleships in terms of protection. You basically just armor angle and you're fine. So you're not likely to get killed much. Um... Her, her, her weapons, okay, uh, she has two weapon sets, 12 419mm guns, and eight of the 457mm guns. Um, use the 419s, you don't ever have to get the 457s right now. Why? Because there's no point, you know. The 457s don't overmatch, and their damage output per shell doesn't make up for the loss of four shells. So just stick with the 12s, you know. My, my first couple of times when I went out with her, I tried her with the 457s. I didn't, I didn't do much in terms of damage with them because they just weren't very consistent. But then I switched to the 419s and like little, literally every battle made me feel dirty. I mean, I guess, I guess the way I look at ships is do they make me feel like I need to take a shower or two after I'm done playing with them? And if they do, then that ship might be a little bit on the broken side. The last ship that really gave me that feeling... Hmm... I would say the last ship that really gave me that feeling was... Kaga? And the ship before that that gave me that same exact feeling would probably be Midway. The old Midway. The 1221. So, that's... Yeah, I get the feeling from the Conqueror. She is, in her current state, like, just ridiculous. I mean, then you ask, okay, are there any weaknesses? All right, let's take a look. Uh, AA, not a weakness. Um, her AA is, is incredibly strong. Uh, you know, she's got the large caliber AA, which is not as strong as the USN one. Um, but her mid-range AA, the 40 millimeters, they output, like... 700 plus DPS or something like that. It's, like, incredibly high numbers, uh, which means that planes do melt. Um, when your AA is at full strength, of course, they can be whittled down by HE. But generally speaking, if, you know, a CV knows the strength of your AA, they're not going to come near you. So A, not a problem. Uh, what about speed? Nope, she's fast enough. Uh, she turns reasonably well. Uh, she has a turning radius. It's not much, you know, different from all the other tier 10s. Her concealment. Oh, there's another one. Surface concealment. Fully spec for concealment, 11.1 on the surface. It's slightly worse from the air, so, you know, yeah, you do have to be a little bit more you know, cautious or whatever um, about, you know, catapult aircraft and things like that. You do have to worry about those a little bit, but, you know, your, your surface detectability matches some cruisers at tier 10. Like, you know, it, okay. Anyhow, so you've got this crazy zombie heal. You've got this, you know, really good concealment. You got A, that's pretty damn good. Your guns do just fine. I mean... You know, essentially, you've got 
Montana levels of firepower, so what's the complaint there? Sure, you can't overmatch, but then only Yamato can overmatch stuff, so... <sighs> um... Yeah. I don't really see a weakness in the ship. Um, and truthfully, this is one of those ships that just make you feel like... Look, I mean, just look at that heal. I'm in red HP right now. Look at that heal bar that I can get back. That's... <sighs> Anyways, I mean... Yeah, I just, I, I don't, I can't even, um, I don't, like, here's the thing, I don't think the ship is going to get released this way. Um, you might be looking at me and saying, well, hold on a second, you reviewed the Nelson, or, you know, just the other day, and the Nelson has a similar kind of heal, what's, you know, the difference? Well, the difference is this, the Nelson has 25mm bows, which can be overmatched, and she has a citadel that sits above the water, which means that if she gets caught broadside, she's incredibly vulnerable right? That all combined with the fact that, you know, her torpedo defense is not that great and everything means that that heal actually is needed on a Nelson for it to be at least somewhat okay in terms of protection because otherwise she really doesn't, you know, sort of fit the whole battleship thing because she really cannot show the broadside at all. Difference with the Conqueror is that she's got the armor. She's got the 32mm bow. She doesn't, like, she's fine survivability wise. So, for me, I just cannot wrap my mind around it as to why this kind of a heal is okay on this kind of a ship when way back in the day, when Yamato had that slightly better heal, you know, it was taken away because it was deemed too strong. Right? So basically, here's the thing. If the ship came out, if the Conqueror were to come out today in the form that she is in right now, uh, I would immediately just say, cool, I am just gonna play the Royal Navy line, the entire line, no matter how crap the rest of the line is, I will play that entire line and suffer through that entire line to get this ship at the end, because this ship is just outrageous. I mean, I played only a few battles with the 12-419 guns, and that, that was enough for me. I, I just felt way too dirty. I felt like I was going seal clubbing at tier 10. Because it was just like, there are times and scenarios where you're like, I should be very much dead in this engagement. There is no way I should be alive in this engagement. And then somehow you, you are alive. And you just keep on fighting. And it's just, yeah, okay. Anyways, you'll, you'll, you'll see kind of what I'm getting at. You know, there are times where you're like, yeah, this guy should have been dead. And, and yet, no. Um, it's almost as if the entire crew... Minus the captain and the gunners on the Conqueror are all engineers. It, it's literally like this entire ship can magically repair. Hell, it's like the ship itself is a dockyard. It can just repair itself to magical perfection in no time at all. So it's insanity. You know, there, there was nothing for me when I was playing her, you know, after I switched her over to the 12 gun setup, there was literally nothing wrong with the ship that I could pick out. I sat there, and I played her, and I'm like, cool, let me try to nitpick the ship. Let me find something wrong with her. Nothing. You know, I haven't, I, I've played this game for this long, and I've never had a ship where I've played it, and I've been like, there really isn't anything wrong with this ship. So, in a way, the, the Conqueror really lives up to its name. It conquers everything. Um... And then, and then on, on a slightly more amusing note, they were thinking at one point in time to give this ship radar. Just... <laughs> uh, just that, that, just, w w why? <laughs> Luckily, they said it not to do that anymore, but still, just in her current state, I just... I don't see the ship, I cannot see the ship coming out the way she is right now. I just, I just can't. Alright, I'm, I'm thinking there has to be changes. Something is gonna budge, something is gonna move, something is gonna change. But what it is, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what is gonna change, because, you know, they've... Okay, maybe they can nerf the A, but like that's not gonna affect her that much. Maybe she'll become a little bit more vulnerable to carriers, but you're not seeing that many carriers anyhow. So 
I mean, what else? Like, maybe maybe nerf her detectability? Maybe make her so that she's more of an attractive target to shoot at? Could be something, but... I mean, what are you going to make it? You're still going to make it like, what, maybe 18 kilometers stock detect range? But that can still be knocked down quite a bit through things like Concealment Expert and things like that, you know? All in all, m my current feel about the ship is not a lot in terms of weaknesses. This ship is just really, really, really strong, you know? Um, I think by this point in time, I think I have lost a sizable amount of my AA guns, I think. And so this Shokaku is able to get a strike through. So, you know, it's able to actually get some planes, you know, through and able to hit me with, with, with some bombs and torpedoes and stuff like that. So there, yeah, look, I, I should be dead here. I should be dead, right? I, I like 7,000 HP, th th this engagement, it's over, right? If, if I was playing another battleship, I think this is like game over right there. And then this is Conqueror. Like, ha, <laughs> nope, nope. I'm able to turn around, kill the Chappie, come over here, tank a salvo from a Kerr first. And in this battle, which, you know, theoretically our team shouldn't have won. You know, we shouldn't win this because, look, the enemy team have all the caps, they have everything. I mean, just because I was able to YOLO in there and, and be able to fight a bunch of stuff and be the big target for everything, this sets our team up for the win. Now, this, by this point in time, I'm sitting on, what, maybe 170-something thousand damage, 175,000 damage. And, and truth be told, I don't even think this is the max kind of potential damage I can do with the ship. I think I could have done a lot more, you know, if I was in a battle, let's say, where I wasn't the one that was pushing onto a cap hard and taking all the fire. You know, had I been, you know, maybe able to, I don't know, engage from a slightly safer place, maybe, who knows, slightly safer... You know, still aggressive, but slightly safer. I might have been able to rack up even more. I mean, from what I've heard, some of the people who have been testing the ship, and I think there's one person who said that they're averaging like 200k damage a game. You know, just because essentially you're you're a dockyard. You know, like, you re you don't repair your ship. Hell, you replace your ship. In a span of a battle, I mean, with four heals, you basically can replace your ship twice over almost. Anyways, I'm going to speed through this, and you'll see what I mean. I mean... You know, I was able to decimate the majority of the ships that were really threatening, you know, the things like the Curvers and stuff like that. And was able to bring it back so that, you know, we still had three ships. And we were able to simultaneously push onto all the caps. And win the battle. And I don't think I could have done that with any of the other battleships at Tier 10. You know, if I was a Montana, I would have died to that Curver Salvo. If I was a Curver with that amount of HP, I think I would have died to a Curver Salvo. But Conqueror... You know, you could down, you could be down to seven thousand HP, and as long as you have one heal, like you can, you can come right back from that and keep fighting. It's just, it's crazy. So there we go. We take all four of the caps. Uh, we, our team man manages to battleship survives the carrier's last bomber. We manage to kill off that one remaining destroyer, which really that destroyer is not going to do much against two Moskvas, right? So there we go. We take the last two caps. And then I'm just going to speed this up because, yeah, well, I've already been kind of speeding it up, but I'll speed it up more because, you know, we might as well get to the end of the battle here. Um, but yeah, anyways, final thoughts on the Conqueror is just, I, I don't think she's coming in this current form. I just, I don't, I, w I don't want to believe it. I don't want to, and, and if she does, and in the event that I'm wrong and she comes out the way she is right now, hell, I will, I will play through the rest of the line. I don't care how crap that line is just to get to this tier 10 because this tier 10 is just mind-blowing um and that's it 178,000 damage and we have ourselves the victory uh, managed to take all the caps back and within the time allocated we were able to beat them on points so there we go final uh victory screen there so take a look uh, a plane shot down 60 target hits for citadels you know four ships destroyed 100 and some you know 78,000 damage almost 2,500 base experience uh, if you take a look at the um, detailed results screen here you'll see yeah I mean look at the damage received 227,000 that is almost three whole ships worth in HP but let's just say it's about two two and a half and in terms of credits earned, 258,000 net at the end. Well, folks, you've seen it.
What do you think of the Conqueror? <laughs> do you want this to come out the way she is, or do you absolutely not want something like this in your game at all? Let me know in the comment section below. So from all that, folks, take care, have yourselves a good one, and I'll talk to all of you again really, really soon. Thank you.